audio jungle. Hi, my name is Helena Kirk and I would like to share my story with you and ask for your help with something that I think all Canadians would want to support. I'm now 12, but when I was three and a half years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia and underwent 841 days of chemotherapy at the Hospital for Sick Children. I brought my bravery beads to show you. I get one bead for each procedure I endure. There are over 650 beads and still counting since I still go to sick kids for leukemia follow-up care. I have many friends that have cancer too. This is my best buddy, Jaden. She relapsed for the eighth time and entered her ninth fight. She had her eighth major brain surgery in September, and sadly, in January, the clinical trial that might have saved her life came too late, and she was offered palliative care instead. She passed away last month, two weeks after her 15th birthday. This is my friend Jake, and this is my friend Aiden. Last year, Jake ran out of treatment options in Canada. He was lucky enough to qualify for a clinical trial happening in the U.S. that has a good chance of saving his life. In January, Aiden ran out of treatment options in Canada and was starting palliative care when he also found out he could qualify for the same clinical trial as Jake. Aiden's family can't quickly find $50,000 for the first six months of the trial to send Aiden to the States. He's been waiting for any treatment options offered through Sick Kids now for four months, all the while his tumor is still growing. Jake's dad is a firefighter and that community rallied behind Jake and raised the $50,000 he needed to start the trial. This is my friend Jordan, and this is my friend Sarah. Jordan received CAR T cell therapy in the US in 2017, and Sarah received the same therapy at SickKids the spring of 2018. Both their treatments were paid for by OHIP. CAR T cell therapy gives kids that would otherwise be terminal an up to 90% chance of being in remission. I would like to show you a picture of a friend in Alberta that has the same story as Sarah but there have been no children approved in Alberta to get this life-saving treatment at sick kids. They would have to pay for the treatment in Ontario from their own pocket, try a treatment that's known not to work, or be offered palliative care. This is my friend Emma, who had the same cancer as Terry Fox. She received the same treatments Terry did almost 40 years ago. I had one of those drugs too, and I can tell you the effects on my body were terrible. In fact, in the last 34 years, there have only been two drugs approved by Health Canada for cancer kids. Canada's the best country in the world, but we're failing our childhood cancer families. How is it okay that there have been thousands of kids in cancer treatment for 40 years having drugs that are used off-label? How is it okay that a Canadian child lives or dies based on where their family lives in Canada? How is it okay that one of my friends can get to a trial in the U.S. and another one can't, based solely on the ability of the family to find $50,000 on the spot. How does it protect Canadian children to have a federal approval system that is so onerous that kids will die waiting for their trials or treatments? The seven friends that I've just showed you, together we have over 30 years of fighting cancer. We're not alone. Childhood cancer is not uncommon in Canada. It's the number one cause of death by disease for kids and teens age 1 to 19. Sûrement le gouvernement canadien voudrait s'impliquer car le cancer est la cause numéro un de dessécher les enfants. La mauvaise nouvelle, non. La bonne nouvelle est qu'il y a euh, plusieurs solutions innovatives dans d'autres pays. Since 2017, I've been talking to leaders in our country like Prime Minister Trudeau, Minister Kirsty Duncan, MP Anita Vandenbelt, MP Erskine Smith, and MP Casey, and I'll be talking to many other MPs too. There are over 80 families from seven provinces joining my advocacy efforts. They're writing letters and having meetings with their MPs since April 2018. We have 19 ministers and MPs supporting our efforts and that number grows every week. I had the honor of having a meeting with the Minister of Health, Jeanette Petitpas taylor in April 2018, and I presented her a proposal. It provides the solutions the federal government could lead that would help more kids survive cancer. Over 20 leading pediatric oncologists and researchers and 23 cancer organizations have endorsed the paper. I'm also talking to leaders of Canadian cancer organizations to ask for their support and learn how their organizations can contribute to my efforts. Already I've met with the interim CEO of Childhood Cancer Canada, the CEO of the Canadian Cancer Society, 
the president of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and the executive director of the Terry Fox Foundation. J'ai perdu beaucoup des amis à cause de cancer. Aussi, j'ai plusieurs des amis qui continuent à se battre contre le cancer pour plus que huit ans. Je veux trouver une autre façon dans laquelle les enfants avec le cancer peuvent être les survivants comme moi. I'm asking for your help and the help of all Canadians and especially the support of our Canadian leaders. We live in the best country in the world and I know that we can fix this situation if we all pull together. Merci pour m'écouter au nom de tous les enfants avec le cancer au Canada. Pouvez-vous nous aider? Please visit the website helenashope.com and like our Facebook page to find ways so that you can help.